Welcome to Echo Productions, I'm your host, Silas Willoughby, and today we're taking a look at the person of interest machine effect because, well, you ask, so here it is. Once we have our footage, we need to go into our compositor of choice. And again, I'm using HitFilm Pro, but you can use After Effects or HitFilm Express for everything we're going to be covering today, if you would prefer. Once we are inside our compositor, the first thing we need to do is track the footage. It doesn't have to be a perfect track, since this effect can play around a little bit, but you should still try for a very decent track. Since I had a relatively straightforward track to do, I used HitFilm's built-in tracker, but you can use whatever you prefer. Once we have our track, we need to parent that to a new point layer and select Scale, Rotation, and Position. Now we need to bring in our Face Tracker layer. I just downloaded this free overlay to use since I didn't want to make my own. If you want to make your own, that's fine, but if you don't, I'll put a link for a free download in the description. Once we brought in the layer, we need to parent it to a point layer. And just like that, you've got a pretty good track, and it should be looking pretty decent already, tracking the face. But, as you can see, it plays around a little bit more than I would like it to, so you'll want to push it back a bunch in 3D space, and then scale it up to the size you want. This will eliminate a lot of the smaller jitters and movement you would get from having a less than perfect track. Now, with that done, it looks like this. But, we need to add a few more things to make it look like this. First, we need to add the camera, identification, and date. To do this, I just made two text layers. I made the text white, added a black outline, and changed the font to Calvary. Now, to make it look like actual security footage, we need to create a grade layer and drag it above the footage in text layers. Next, we need to add a fisheye warp like you would have if you were shooting on an ultra-wide lens like a security camera has. To do this, search for the action cam lens distort effect in the effects panel, and drag it onto your grade layer. You will need to choose a preset. I chose GoPro Hero Wide, but you can choose whichever you like because they really all look the same. Now we need to degrade our footage to get that ugly, automatic looking, high contrast footage that you would get from a real security camera. First, add the brightness and contrast effect to the grade layer. You could also do this with curves. And turn up the contrast to about 15. Next, add the color temperature effect and drag it cooler, about 500 Kelvin. You should be getting some pretty gross looking footage now. But this part is all opinion, so play around until you get the look you like. You can also add a blur if you want. But that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. We make new filmmaking techniques and VFX tutorial videos every Monday. 